Well, this place is simply incredible. Night number one of Ohio Speed Week starts now. We are at Attica Raceway Park in Attica, Ohio, running the 410 Sprint Car with some of the best drivers in the nation. Tonight, we are gonna be racing with the All-Star Circuit of Champions, a touring 410 series kind of all throughout the Midwest. Welcome back to today's video. My name is Tanner Holmes, and this is gonna be my first ever sprint car start in the state of Ohio. I think we're expecting anywhere from 40 to 50 cars here tonight at Attica, and this place is pretty good size. It actually looks way smaller in person than it does on video. You can maybe see a little bit of what I'm talking about down in turn number three. Also, the racetrack is really muddy right now. They've been kind of watering it throughout the morning. They may have also gotten some weather earlier this week. I have Bennett behind the camera. Bennett, what do you think of this place? I think it looks pretty awesome. This track is not what I expected, especially after what we saw on video, but uh, I can't wait to watch you guys rip some laps here. Yeah, so we're going to be getting started in just a couple of hours. If you guys want to watch the whole week live, it is going to be on Flow Racing, which they are actually sponsoring today's video. Flow Racing is a live streaming service and dirt track racing that covers over 1,300 events. Some of those big events that they cover include the Dirt Late Model Dream, the Sweet 16, Ohio Speed Week, All Eight Nights, and so much more. So if you guys want to check out Flow Racing, I'll put a link at the top of the description. It's flowracing.com forward slash Tanner Holmes. That's flowracing.com forward slash Tanner Holmes. Anyway, let's get started. My first ever career start with the All-Star Circuit of Champions and in the state of Ohio. Let's make it a great week. All right, give you guys a quick rundown. We just got done with hot laps here at Attica. This place is bad fast and back in the 410 after running some limited races, it's a huge difference. The corner comes up way faster. Anyway, this place is kind of similar to Cottage Grove in a way running the top it feels like. A little bit of a tighter corner. Wanted to go through the all-star format though real quick. So I'm only gonna be qualifying against the guys in my group and heat racing with those same cars. So I think it's about 10 cars in each group. We got like 45 to 50 410s and every group's really, really good. So I think we're gonna be the third car to go out in our group around the 23rd or 24th co car to go out um, out of our field but I think this format's going to benefit me because I don't have to race against everyone to start the night just the guys I'm up against in my group so we're going to hop back in make a couple of changes car felt all right just trying to adjust to the racetrack and get my first laps out there before I really need to be on the hammer Qualifying is done here at Attica. We just finished up with group number three, which I actually like where we're at because we're not the first group to go out, but we're not the last right in the middle. I think we're gonna end up towards the back of our group. I didn't get a great lap, but I didn't get a terrible lap. I felt like we were pretty fast in one and two. You know, there's not as much of a curb built up. It's just more a lot of dirt. And we kind of decided maybe not to enter like right in it and just bury the right rear, but try to just baby beat, you know, just like I'm talking a little bit off of it. Um, so the car could turn because through hot laps, we struggled just being a little tight and we had made some changes, but the curb built up a lot more in three and four and it's getting up there I mean it's very difficult I get in the corner good and I think I'm like I'm gonna nail this thing and then I get into it and then it just really pulled the car down and got me really tight so I'll give you guys an update we're gonna go finish watching the last couple of cars every single time you go to a new track it's so important to watch as much as you can because man I don't know anything about Attica besides the races I watched here beforehand never being here in person makes it difficult so I just got to study be a student and you know what it is what it is we're here to get good experience and laps and then we will be moving on to our heat race
we ended up sixth quick in our group here tonight at Attica. Felt really, really good. I'm not exactly sure what I said in the last clip because things are just going so quickly. We're talking to so many people. It's awesome to see the fan support out here in Ohio. I think the main thing I needed to fix after qualifying was just where I enter the corner. I was working on trying to be straight, but this place is almost a little tight and I needed to be just a little lower because I was so buried by corner entry, then I'm just stuck in the curb and cannot get out of it. And even though you got 900 horsepower, it's just tough to move. So uh, we ended up sixth quick in our group. We're gonna start sixth in our heat race. Top four are gonna transfer to the A. whole stack of tear-offs in the heat race. We started sixth, ran eighth, uh, dropped back and at one point even got loose and, and kind of half spun off a of turn two. I felt like we were just really free. It was kind of a little deceiving because the heats before us were right around the bottom and it actually looked like the racetrack was hooked up because they went out there and they knocked down the curb. So they knocked it down so there wasn't really anything up there. So the first two heat races were right around the bottom. So we kind of kept the car where it was at and we didn't want to tighten it up. But one thing I'm, you know, we just kind of learned in that heat with these Ohio tracks is just really, really dirty and you could probably actually have the car tighter so you can run it harder. I feel like a lot of times I'm just kind of sitting here like this, but um, so a couple things with the setup, a couple things I can do better just with driving the car harder and just trying to find a better line. I think we're going to have the C main event up next. Once they post the line up, we'll let you guys know where we start. in right now for the B. We won the C, top two transferred, just a couple of cars out there, but I needed that. If I would have ran one spot better in the heat and been in the B, you know, I wouldn't have got those valuable laps. 
we were absolutely ripping and obviously we were with other C main cars but uh, for us to go out there and you know lay down those good laps and have the car as good as it was planted you know getting through the race or getting through the corners well that's exactly what we could ask for so some great laps around Attica there uh, we did eight of them now I think we have a 10 or 12 lap B starting in the back so it's gonna be tough to make our way forward but man I'm just pumped that we felt that comfortable uh, in just you know the short amount of time here around this racetrack so let's head out for the B I'm not sure exactly where we're starting besides um, we're gonna be on the last row our first night of Ohio Speed Week racing with some of the best and man we learned a ton went quick you know we got started there right around six o'clock went out for hot laps got some solid laps curb built up for qualifying we ended up qualifying six quick in our group and then kind of stumbled there a little bit in the heat race I just got racing around some other cars and that's one thing I'm really working on which also talk about the B main um, it's just really difficult racing around other fast cars once you get in the 410 you know it's obviously way more power than the limited in the 360 and I need to see to work on being confident and driving the same or you know trying to drive the same you know in dirty air I guess you could say so we got some of our best laps ever behind the wheel of a 410 there in the C main event eight laps just right around the top side pretty much just wide open on the little curb that was out there and that was so much fun I could just feel myself you know going on the straightaway holding the wheel straight go into the corner feel it wing over get on the left rear and then just really roll through the center then in the B main event there is a little bit more of a struggle I mentioned it's hard to race around other guys I mean uh, try driving the same you know when you're out front in clean air and then in dirty air behind you know 18 other cars the track tracks way dirtier. There's just a lot of marbles out there and it's dusty in the back so it's hard to see your line. So I just kind of struggled there for those 12 laps but we're going to roll in the box in one piece. Kind of got over the curb a little bit just trying all these uh, all different sorts of lines but a fun night here at the Attica Raceway Park. We're looking forward to getting to Fremont tomorrow. We're going to go watch the A main event to continue taking notes, see what these fast guys are up to and like I said we'll be back at it for night number two tomorrow. For the first time this night, I've had the chance to kind of just reflect on everything that happened in the past couple of hours. We qualified, we ran a heat race, a C main event, and then ran the B main event. We got some really solid laps here at Attica. I know everyone's gonna wanna know my thoughts on the place. Uh, first off, a top-notch facility. It doesn't get too much nicer than this. Uh, huge grandstands, so many fans were here tonight. And even nicer than the facility was the pit area. Tons of room for everyone to park. We really enjoyed where we were at because we came right off the racetrack and we kind of had a straight shot right to our trailer. And then the race track this place is extremely tricky it's very hard to see in the back of a B main event I'll say that it's dusty and the racetracks just really really dirty in general now they shut off the lights but I wanted to head up to the racetrack with the flashlight and just show you guys what the curb looked like after the A main event 
so I know it's extremely hard to see, but this was the parking curb off of turn number four. It got so treacherous in the A main event that the leader, Ian Madsen and Corey Eliasson run in second. They literally just started running right through the middle, uh, trying to keep their speed up and momentum because the guys that were trying to run up here, it was fast if they hit it correctly, but when they did not hit it correctly, it was deadly. So this is what we were dealing with all throughout the night. It got really curbed up in qualifying, then they knocked it down for the heat races. And honestly, in my heat race, I think I should have ran the top more than the bottom. It just started to come in. In the earlier heats, heat one and two, it was more around the bottom, but I think as that kind of blew off, the top came in. And then in our C main event, we really ripped the top, but there just wasn't much of a curb, just a lot more grip, and we were fast. That was some of the best laps I've ever made in a 410 sprint car, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, we're gonna go put the car in the box. Um, car's also in one piece. That's a win for night number one. Seven nights to go of Ohio Sprint Week. Well, dad has his gadget going. We are the last people here at Attica after night number one. We're getting ready to load the car in. We're gonna sleep tonight and then wake up early in the morning since Fremont's only like 30 to 45 minutes away. There's no real reason to rush. We just got done eating. The last fan left. And the last fan the left. Fan. Anyway, real quickly, I just wanna thank all my sponsors starting with Next Gen Def. We have all the contingencies for the All-Star Circuit of Champions. Then we have Pit Stop USA, OMA KTM, Q QRC, Earth that Environmental, Swindell Speed Lab, Ferguson, Durango RV, on-site screeners, my buddy Kyler Shaw at Fast 4 Media. Then we have Carson, Lafarge, ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA again, and then all those guys on the left side. Anyway, to recap Attica, a great night. We got some valuable laps. We have things that we need to work on, and this week is just gonna be so much about learning. You know, not to sound like a motivational speaker or anything, but one thing to say here on the vlog, so many drivers, I think, and just in actually other aspects of life, people want things, people want things to happen happen really, really fast. And sometimes that does, you know, for example, people want to show up here and just be one of the fastest right there with the all-star or if you go to an outlaw show, people want to be at the top and trust me, that is my goal. I want to be the best possible driver I can be, but sometimes it just takes time. And I've always been a little more on the conservative side. So I really want to go to these places, try to figure them out and, you know, just get comfortable. Another thing we talked about, imagine if all these drivers came to Cottage Grove or a place that I was familiar with, obviously they'd still be ripping, but like, for example, me starting sixth in a heat race, I would didn't feel so lost like where do I go you know what do I do if I start sixth in a heat race at Cottage Grove I know exactly what I need to do to you know run towards the front of that heat and pass those guys so we're just gonna figure it out I'm sure we're gonna find more tracks throughout the week that suit our driving style so we're headed off to Fremont 18 T's get loaded up thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for a lot more action and seven more nights of Ohio Speed Week see you guys on the next one deuces